G'day, today we're going to have a look at the daily challenge on Dar es Salaam in mini motorways. Now this one does sound like an interesting one uh, because our limitations are that we get only roundabouts but we get double the amount of roundabouts rewarded each week so we're going to end up with a lot of roundabouts. So the person that responded on one of my videos saying use the damn roundabouts, oh we're going to be using the damn roundabouts today. Okay. Now I'm not sure if there is a river in Dar es Salaam, it's been a while since I played it. Um, but if there is, then we definitely could have problems there if we're not starting with a bridge. So we want to make sure we uh, we can work out what to do at that point. Alright, well that looks like a good spot to put a roundabout, but we're going to have to wait until we're at least one road deeper. I can't imagine that we're going to get too far in this one anyway. These roundabouts are going to have to really make this um, an efficient roadway. It would actually almost be a good test, I think, to see um, how um, how efficiently it actually can make a road if you use all of these roundabouts. Um, because I, I generally do rely heavily on motorways. And um, yeah, it'll, uh, it'll be good to see. If, if you go insane with uh, roundabouts, if they do become effective. I think I'm just noting here as well, I don't feel like I've noticed much before, is the uh, the shadows on these buildings. The, uh, the second tier of this building is definitely a lot higher in this shadow than what I assumed it was by just looking at this guy straight down. If we move down, we have. Good. So that can be a roundabout. I'm just going to shift him there. Because I think what I want to do as well is try and divide these guys. Give them a bit of a split as well. Now what we do want to do is have um, as much separation between lines as possible. Now definitely that is going to be a much harder game without motorways um, coming to our access at all. I think with this one if I could hit 1400 I think I'd call that a victory. Um, once this one really starts to move, it feels like it's going to go pretty quick. Um, so those people who have asked for videos where they even just want to see my uh, my failures, I think you might get your wish today. Alright. I think it is coming to me that down the bottom here there might be a river. place there is a roundabout. Now both of these roundabouts at the moment are a bit questionable in their use um, because both of them I could actually just split to have these two guys go say for example and I will. Um, this guy could almost have a better route just heading straight through. In fact to reduce the amount of congestion through this roundabout I can just have these guys go direct to their mark rather than um, going through it the same as that guy. Okay, now this is where we're going to start to, to have questions raised and where we're going to try and use our roundabouts. Now this guy is already pinned in a spot that means that we can't really do anything to divide these guys off his line unless we want to send them all the way around the, the outside or something. It does definitely speed the game up when you don't have a choice at the end of that week. Okay. Let's try and think about what we want to do um, down here because this isn't going to really work for us if we're going to have everyone colliding on this one point. So how many squares have we got? 31. Let's go for a quick walk around the outside see if we can get him up there. Now that is an exceptionally long road which is going to be extremely unhealthy uh, for the long-term survival of yellow in this position uh, but at the moment we will see how we go. This guy would have to go all the way around that guy but let's, let's do it for now. Well let's not do it for now. Oh, we can wait a moment just to get a few extra pieces of road. Just waiting for this piece and this piece. 
probably just draw that back actually. Just make that connection. And let's just make that a cheeky roundabout. All doors will send him in directly and we can also get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. I guess this guy can take advantage of the work already done to put a uh, yellow line around there. We benefit greatly here. Now, this is where we're going to have a problem. Anything going over there. Now my strategy originally was going to be block it out. But the problem I have at the moment is I don't have any extra squares. So, it's going to cost me 10 squares to do as is. It's already Sunday, so I can waste half my squares doing it. I say waste, but I actually think that's probably going to be an efficient use of, of my um, tiles. So let's just block him there. Now the other thing that we have is six roundabouts. So what we should actually do is use those roundabouts purely because you use a roundabout and it actually gives you back everything that um, that's sitting underneath that roundabout. So you can see from planting those two, I've gained back six squares um, and I've got four more. So can I use them to, to just sort of regain anything else? Now this I'd like to change as well down the bottom here. Um, obviously this guy up here is a great get. Um, but if we could divide these, we've got this extra row down here. We don't have the squares to do it because I do want to um, so badly block out everything that I will never be able to access. Um, that I suppose it doesn't matter that much anymore because the role of all these guys. Um, actually, I can get rid of all of this now. Because that guy's now more than equipped. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to cater to this guy because this guy's just gone circular and we will turn him around and wait for to get back any of this um, that we've got. Now we don't want to wait too long because this guy, oh, that's killer, that is killer. He's just blocked me off from going through the bottom. I was going to run along the bottom here but now that guy has changed those plans. So. What can we do? Well, firstly, we're going to continue to wait for... We'll claim all that back because they're not using it. I do also have this back row here I need to do something with. We'll give these two guys to him. No, we've run out of road again. We'll give these two guys uh, to the lower. We'll probably claim back those as well. And we can connect him. Could eat more roundabouts. Okay, okay. Well, at least that's a um, that's a positive. Now again, let's block out that. Now, partially, we don't want a warehouse over there. Is probably the most important thing. If we ended up with houses over there, manageable. Um, but obviously, a warehouse would just sort of essentially sink us. So we will connect these three guys straight to there. Uh, we've got three guys dealing with that. We actually will try and make it four. Because that guy can live on two at the moment, I would say. Now, what I'm going to do is put a roundabout here to allow these guys to be a bit divided. So we've got three coming one way and the other's going the other. And the other guy we want to address is this fella. So he's currently only got one house supplying him. So we, we want to get, I guess, this guy in the mix. That means we can put this guy to this, this one. And we can straighten that line up. We have to move there around about just down ever so slightly. Zone connection. And this guy can 
run through. And just almost, oh well, yeah, those guys are still moving through that way too. It's my one actual use, useful roundabout I've got down here. Uh, but we will chuck one there. I said the name of the game at this point actually would be just getting those road tiles back. They won't. I wonder if they'll demolish a, a tree. I've actually never looked into that. That guy helps this this cause a little bit too, uh, and he helps that cause. So since this guy's not even connected at the moment, we'll um, reclaim his and block out with that, and we'll just send him back to his original job because luckily this guy's gotten a hand. Um, okay, now what we want to do is see if we can get around this problem here. Now we've only got the four houses, but what we can do is, do I have enough pieces? Maybe. If we can sweep up and around. Not yet. Alright, that'll be our intention. The problem is that now I've declared my intention, guaranteed red houses are going to block us all the way at the top there. Purple. Now I think you get purple houses up here, and if that's the case, that'll be handy eventually. But until that happens, um, I'm not going to have enough squares to get him over. So he is going to have to go across, and then come out the back, and join that awful abomination. Okay. And we got to work out a way to get his friend connected. Oh, diagonal connect. But I mean, how far away they are. They're going to need all hands on deck at this point. Okay. Now that is a good placement there. That is handy. Um... Hopefully he gets a few more friends, and hopefully the map stops expanding too much soon so we can just stop having to waste everything on this, this side of the river. But waste I shall, as long as I keep expanding it. Okay, so we're going to connect these two guys down that way, and get rid of that. Now what that means is we can also get rid of that, and red and dark blue are now isolated. do is connect these three guys, sneak them up and around. Luckily, it's just enough time to do that before it became catac cataclysmic. Now these guys are definitely still experiencing a problem that they're taking way too long to get here. Um, you can see that this, there's more demand than the amount of houses I've got here, and that's purely because I am not managing um, not managing uh, the distance well. Now we've got five that we can use, five squares that is. If we go one, two, three, four, five, we can go straight up and try and get them out that side of that roundabout. Because I'm going to have to address it now. Can't leave it so. Let's try and think. All right, let's um, let's try and solve this with roundabouts. Let's put in roundabouts that can save us um, some squares. for a second. Okay, 12. Okay. So now if we go um, disconnect that, disconnect that, draw this, we have our 
four guys, three guys rather, connect one, two, three, roundabout. One, two, three, roundabout. Can't sneak out that way. Um, can these guys sneak down? One, two, three. Now the problem at the moment is that all of the cars are currently out, so I've got to wait for them to get back. Now this here, I was going to say, would be a good spot for a set of traffic lights, but what we can also do is a roundabout. Now we'll just shift this guy down as well. I don't know if I accidentally dragged him at some point. Uh, but so he certainly needed for the um, for the lower houses. All right, let's block them oh, and block them. It would be good to put a roundabout on this as well. So I might have to think about how to redesign this. What if we... Where can I fit a roundabout? There. Okay. I'm not going to run into it either way. Yeah, it seems like it. Um... All right, let's do this instead. Let's. This is probably something I, adjustment I should have made a while ago. They can go up there, and these guys can flick down and come around the back. Now this guy's got four houses, and he is starting to run a little under. So we will just give him those two extra ones. This guy would benefit from some more houses too. I mean, I could... How many have I got? 17. I could try and run these guys all the way around and down into this red roundabout. Get them both in the game. Alright, so how are we going to get to this guy? That guy's got four, that guy's got four, he's got two, but he's okay because he's only a square at the moment. This guy is going to need these two to come over to him, so we can get rid of that. And we will build a roundabout anywhere we can on here, which doesn't look like we can. So we will avoid the reds, shift them up into that roundabout shift them down the other side. Now possibly I've run out of tiles. Did I delete anything that I can reclaim? No? Alright, well let's just get rid of that for now. That'll be our end plan, but for now we'll just force them to go through past the yellow, which isn't ideal. At least we've got purple a bit a bit more under wraps, but it is still a problem that it's creating um, chaos for everyone else. That there's one, two, three other uh, lines that are all dealing with um, circular warehouses that are being impacted by just purely that guy um, having to be there. Okay, so that's 25. So let's see if we can now maybe get out of there. Let's see if we can sneak this up now and cut in so that now it's just this point that they have to cross, they don't have to um, deal with each other the whole way. Now these, I've got a lot of yellow houses here. Um, oh, there we go, maybe that's why. The problem is that these yellow houses, I still can't quite see a use for. I do have an extra line down here. So, I mean, I could... I could set them as backup for this guy that I could, if I had enough, which I don't at the moment, uh, road, I could run them all the way along the bottom to get in here. Um, 
since this guy's a square, and the new guy's a square as well, we're just going to give... Actually, we'll give three houses, because then we've got these one, two, three houses that can take care of him. It's a bummer he's on the wrong side of that. Because it sort of means he'd have to interrupt a few people to, to get anywhere as well. I suppose I could send him through that and then up and out. Um, we want to now... Oh, you're not playing any favours with me, the purple guys. They really want to exercise inconvenience. Um, can I get a roundabout in somewhere here? Yeah, okay. And we'll connect the two like that. Just swap those two guys to a different connection to try and reduce uh, their congestion a bit. Why waste a, connect a point on there? We've got so few. There's still only the one light blue factory in all of this. I do want to build this road here just to reserve the space. I obviously don't need to do anything else over here. Um, but I just feel like. I feel like something's coming there. Okay. Let's, uh... Well, can we... get these two guys out of each other's way? Oh, they're gonna have to... touch. And there's no room for a roundabout in there. Now these red guys are actually excess support for this. They're not the main support, so they're they're not actually um, moving that much. So they shouldn't be too much of a problem um, being connected to that, I'd say. And what we will do is connect. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys whose job was this guy. And again, that's just a square. So we will give these three guys. Sorry, six. This guy's connected down here. Now we'll get a few more light blues connected there if we can. Good, another red. Alright. Now if I point this guy that way, I can get this track to go underneath as opposed to running into uh, light blue. We also have bad issues with uh, with this guy here. So what I might have to do is connect these two guys down here to sort of make their way up there very, very clunkily. They've run out of road as well. Um, so I can't add this guy to, to help up here yet. Or this guy. But I think that with how close these two houses are, um, he'll run well. Now this is becoming definitely a problem down here. Uh, we'll have to get rid of that to let this guy join and we'll let them separate where they're connecting. Yeah, you can see this purple line is now creating problems for everyone and also obviously slowing themselves down. Um, but there's not really anything we can do to to move them out of the way, so I think that possibly they're just going to be our our downfall. We'll give purple that extra option of, of getting around so they don't have to go through yellow and back out the other side. Now red's definitely coming fast with uh, support houses. And purple seems to have just suddenly steadied themselves out a bit, which is quite nice. Um, let's think about this. If we move this guy up 
and say encounter his his mates over here. So we've currently got one, two, three houses looking after him. Are these guys struggling over here though? I'm not quite sure why, so we'll just suddenly shift that guy up that way too. What we can then do is move purple to run this way. And that means that red gets left alone. And we'll get rid of that for red. Now these two guys on the other hand do still have to get through. So we will put a roundabout here to allow them passage through. These two guys over here are definitely getting overwhelmed with attempting to do this on their own. So what we'll do is shift him, run out of road again. Um, what I'd like to do is get him down here as well, or this guy, but in both cases I don't have the road. Just need to connect this guy and then this guy down here. Let's think on it a bit more. Definitely another guy down here that's going to help in this course. Now I realize that we're getting a bit more uh, road. He's going die out. So let's send the house back his way. Um, but this guy's not any better off either. I've hit my 14,000, 1400 rather, mark, so I'm quite happy with, with that on this guy. Uh, okay, so with our extras, let's make this connection and that connection. Now I realize as well this guy's actually insanely close to that, but he's not a problem at all. He's still completely managed. Uh, it is definitely all dark blue that is our big problem at the moment. He's come in there too, so we can try and see if we can get suddenly a surge of eight cars down to address that guy's grief. Um, the other problem though is some of the, now this whole thing's connected that we've got grey cars running all over the place attempting to address, address these problems. So our congestion is about to blow up I would say. Now purple... Oh. What am I doing? I've got these purple guys here. They could definitely make life much easier. So the six of them will go out and do their thing. Unfortunately they're going to address the guy that's closer to them and not the guy that is about to collapse on me. Although they might just sit in there to, to hold me over long enough just to, I guess, get to what, 1800 or so? Um, these guys down here are a problem as well. But uh, there we go. Not too bad, that one. Uh, it was quite a good challenge. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Any questions or comments, uh, feel free to check them below. Till next time, catch you later. Bye.